the, the initial reporting is that there was, but now we're pretty sure there was nobody else. So we're talking about one guy, one guy who, is, who has changed the focus of a nation for now and, and the foreseeable future, as Canada will be reevaluating itself and the way it conducts itself internally and externally because of the actions of one man on one morning over a period of less than 10 minutes. That's how fragile it all is. So at some point, our authorities warn us, at some point, somebody, some lone wolf, somebody who's mad at somebody, somebody who's following some radical, ridiculous ideology will walk into a shopping mall or into a train station or something that is not tightly secured and start firing away. And on that day, at that time, we as a collective being must not give in. On that day, we don't have to change everything about our lives. We don't have to add things that make us not a free people. If and when it happens, as our leaders warned that it most likely will, we have to stand brave and tall, as hopefully Canadians are doing today, and realize if we want to have a free nation, there's give and there's bend. If you see something, say something. And beyond that, don't freak out when it happens. Easier said than done, isn't it? Reporter from the Toronto Star was up in the middle of this today.